name is Robert Lowe. I'm from Screw It Screws. We are the distributors of Sachi Robertson Screws in Australia. What we're doing is we are introducing you to the different types of screws and where screws actually first came from. Now when we uh, first joined the business and decided to do that we wanted to know what was the history. So I checked up to see. In the early in the early 1600s, screws were introduced, mainly for people who were doing clock making and making of weapons, guns and all types of equipment like that. They needed to have the screws specially made, so the only people that could do that at this particular time were blacksmiths. And what they actually did was they actually looked at the job they had to do and designed the screws for that particular job. The blacksmith actually made the screws by beating out the steel and then what they do then is they'd have to put the thread on so they'd have to do that by hand. So they'd actually file the thread by hand. That was done early in the 1600s and depending on whether they were doing clock making or weapon making, it depended on what type of screw they had to make. So it was very individual type of work that they did. What happened after that was in the 17 60s, the White Brothers of London, that what they did is they decided to de develop a machine that could actually make the screws. And this machine here is actual drawing of the machine and uh, because there wasn't any photographs taken back in those days and they went with the standard type of screw that we know of today which has the slot in the head and then you've got the thread. To get started with that it took a long while. It took them so it took them 16 years before they could get the funding to get their factories to actually get started. When they actually get going, that was around about the 1700s, they, uh, they had 30 employees and they were producing 16,000 screws in a day, which was very good for that particular time. But what happened after that was that um, there was a person in Milton which is Peter L. Robinson and what happened then is he actually was using a screwdriver, the slotted screwdriver, he slipped and he actually stabbed himself in the hand with the screwdriver. When he actually did that he said this is ridiculous, there must be some other form of putting a screw in than using a slotted system and he developed the square drive system. which they call the Shrewlock system. This was developed in 1908, which was roughly around about the First World War. What happened then is that he developed this system as that the screw and the driver worked as a team. They actually have a taper on the actual point of the screw, which is the square, and it actually tapers back. So it actually has a nice firm fit and holds the screw on very, very tight. The other things he developed was that the thread is a lot sharper than what most screws are today and also the shank is smaller than the thread size. So when you actually do the screw up, you don't have to worry about the thickness of it, actually tightening it and splitting your timber. Also it has a very sharp point. The steel is made of a, it's been heated up, it's a heat treated steel, so it's a strong steel. There's no use having a very good driver and then the steel is weak because then the top will just rip off the, the screw. So what is a Robinson screw? screw? Well, why is it a square drive and how does it work? Well if you have a look closely at a screw you'll see that the square part is a precision cutout and the actual driver has that taper like I was explaining before. The system works together, you need both of them to work together to make it nice and strong. This was the first advertisement that he did in Canada and this is describing what I just explained to you a few minutes ago and this is all about how the screwdriver and the screw actually work together as a team. And now what they call that is a recessed screw in, in that particular advertisement. Now the whole idea is it has a longer life, faster driving time, reduces the operation time, less damage to the screw head, 
freedom from slipping and no reaming out like a lot of screws do. This is a photo of their factory in 1919 and what they did then is they actually had steam powered machines so it was belt driven their machines. So what will happen here is that the machine and the production of them was actually steam powered. Now if you have a look at now in 2010 the actual machinery is all electronic, it's all well worked out and well designed, it's all the designs of the screws are done in the design area and the actual program is done for it and then sent to the machine and then the machine is produced, the screw. When you look at screws nowadays you've got to really look at them properly, there's so many different varieties of screws. The main thing is to make sure that you've got a really good th uh, thread on your screw and that the shank isn't thickness like that because that tightens it and this will split it. So that's the old type of screw that was used to be used and now we use a much more precision type screw. You can actually buy a whole lot of different types of bits that can actually drive your screw in a lot better, countersinking and all different ways of fitting your screws nowadays. There are also many, many different types of screws on the market. There's also many different types of screws in the Satchi Robinson screw range. There's different types of threads, different types of heads and different ways of cutting. The new ones, if you have a look at the new ones, how they've been developed, they have a special cutting edge here at the start to actually chew into the timber and then actually grabs grab onto the timber and drives in very, very strong. We also start at 10 millimetres up to 100 millimetres. They're also in lube, brass, zinc plated, yellow zinc, stainless steel, silicon bronze and there's also a lot of other different types of materials that are introduced at different times. We have a seven days money back guarantee if you're not happy with the screws that you buy from us.